to work here. Every passing day, the maize candle seems to take on a new twist. This time round, it was Karoli Omondi, the PM's suspended administrative secretary's turn, to add to the script. He arrived at the Anti-Corruption Commission headquarters almost two hours late, looking jovial. And after about four hours of interrogation, his mood didn't seem to have changed. I just brought cabinet documents to establish that cabinet approved all the actions that were attributed to me and that PwC were extremely wrong to make the conclusions that they did. According to the PwC audit report, Omondi appeared to have breached procurement regulations in relation to his initialing a contract valued at 3.5 billion shillings with a company called AFGRI outside of formal process. Omondi told the auditors that with cabinet approval, he was required to help facilitate procurement of maize via this contract because of the urgency of the matter. I'm a clean man. I'm not culpable on anything. <laughs> I'm executing decisions of the cabinet. In AFGRI's second contract, the report states that Omondi appears to have signed a letter approving the upward variation of price for the supply of 60,000 metric tons of maize, again, outside of formal procurement process. Omondi is said to have clarified that in view of the urgency of the matter, he had obtained immediate verbal approval for his decision from the cabinet. There were no verbal approvements. I have every document, cabinet minutes, cabinet instructions, everything, everything. Clearly he expects to walk away unscathed, but he is not the only one. Suspended National Serials Board Director Barry Shield is reading from the same script. No, no, this is no scandal. I don't expect to go to court unless they want to charge the entire cabinet. Mm -hmm. Sylvia Chabet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.